What we have here are two phones that might be as close in competition as it can get. Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Sony Xperia Z1 versus the LG G2 in this quick look. Since the G2 came out pretty recently, it can be considered the main competitor to the Sony Xperia Z1. While both have similar experiences, their key differences come from different philosophies. The Sony Xperia Z1 takes on the design of the original Xperia Z, with its glass encased body, water and dust resistance, and the flat profile with very angular edges. This is a design only Sony has been putting out really, and evokes a real black slate look. The signature Xperia power button is on the side with the volume rockers and the added dedicated camera button. It's in the button layout however that LG wanted to shake things up with the G2. Instead of having the buttons on the sides, the G2 sports them on the back where your index finger would land. It sounds weird, but feels natural after a very short time. Otherwise, you get the glossy plastic finish that can get pretty smudgy and a little slippery. These are problems the Xperia Z1 would have too though. In feel, it comes down to your comfort. Either the flatness and rigidity of the Xperia Z1 is more comfortable, or the more rounded look with the unique button layout will be better for you. The battle of the displays rages on with these two 1080p capable screens. The Xperia Z1 sports the triluminous screen that is bolstered by the X-Reality engine. The result is a display experience that is very akin to a Sony TV. While colors might not totally jump out at you, they are more than easy on the eyes and the brightness is adequate enough. Compare that to the LG G2's 5.2 inch screen, which is a powerful IPS display that brings great brightness. Over time, LG has been able to get a color profile that is more saturated than your average and you can see it in the G2. Really, it comes down to what you prefer your eyes to be looking at, whether it's the Sony cinematic quality or the higher saturated and brighter IPS. As both of these phones came out recently, they benefit from the latest processing package. What we get in both are the Snapdragon 800 clocked in at 2.2 GHz and the Adreno 330 with 2GB of RAM. Performance is great across the board and either the more feature-packed Optimus UI or the Xperia Timescape UI should go along without any hitches. Both come with 3000 mAh batteries with power saving features to boot, but the Xperia Z1 is the one that can boast expandable memory and water and dust protection. When it comes to the cameras, the Xperia Z1 puts as much power as it can into that small optic package you see in the back corner. The G lens is a near 21 megapixel monster that is supposed to bring the same quality as Sony's compact cameras. It also boasts many enhancements that can be bolstered by downloaded camera add-ons. The LG G2 might not sport as many app enhancements, but it has a trump card, optical image stabilization. The result is an easier time getting quick shots and better low light performance. Picture quality should be great either way, with Sony packing power into its camera and the G2 packing optimization. And finally, we have the software. While the Xperia Z1 sports a bevy of new features and its camera, the Timescape UI remains pretty much how we remember it. The operating system that looks somewhat like stock Android has a darker, Sony-esque look that includes Sony's own editions of the Walkman, Gallery, and Overlay small apps. On the other hand, LG has been continuously adding to its Optimus UI and continues to do so with the G2. Q-Slide apps are a plenty and are much like the Sony small apps. You can create quick memos and other Q functions are available too, but the biggest addition is the slide side, which puts aside whole apps with a three-finger swipe. Swipe back and you can pick among them. It comes down to either a robust feature set or a simpler experience here, but both are a joy to use. And so, there you have it. The Sony Xperia Z1 will soon be put through its paces against the best in the Android space and the LG G2 is probably currently its closest competitor. With the Xperia Z1 hoping to propel Sony further into the top tier market, we'll see how it stacks up when it is released. Stay tuned for more IFA and beyond at Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.